We're going to show how to use a USB to serial converter to get the serial data, in this case from our Pinewood Derby timer, into your computer. First you take the serial to USB converter out of your packing, and you must open the packing because there's a driver disk that's essential to load before this thing will work. This one's the cables to go, Polyptic USB to serial converter, and uh, you put that driver disk in your drive and uh, auto run to install the drivers. Now I've already installed the drivers uh, so now I'm going to show you how to use Bumterm or you could use Hyper Terminal to hit Windows XP. This is a terminal emulator program that allows you to send and receive serial data. Now I've got to first uh, connect the USB converter into the USB port and because I've already installed the driver, it uh, mapped that to COM7. So I select COM7, 9600 baud in this case. And now the terminal emulator is working. If you hit any key on the keyboard, nothing comes up on the screen. Okay, but if I short across pin 3, which is send data, to pin 2, which is receive data, anything I type on the keyboard will then come back on the screen. And now I'm verifying that that is indeed the case. So now, anything I type comes out pin 3 and goes into pin 2 and is displayed on the screen. Another test we can do is the LED test. By putting an LED across pin 5, which is ground, and pin 3, which is the send data from the keyboard, we can get the LED to flash any time data set. So first we put the LED across pin 5 and 3. Put it across one way and it doesn't light. We put it across the other way and you see the LED lights. Now when we put it in the reverse condition, every time data is sent it will cause the LED to flicker. It's a little hard to get in the holes here. There. Now I'm hitting a key and the LED flickers. Now I'm going to hook the uh, USB converter to a Pinewood Derby timer through the 910 port. And when I power up the Pinewood Derby timer, it's going to send a message to the uh, display screen. So there I powered it up and the message popped up immediately. And now I'm going to cause a little data burst. By tripping all the lanes on the Pinewood Derby timer, it shows the times of each lane came up on the screen. But another test you can do with this Pinewood Derby timer is the LED test again. Between This time between pin 5, ground, and pin 2 to send data out of the timer. I reverse the LED, and now whenever there's a data burst, it's going to flash the LED. So I'll reset the timer, and it makes a brief flash because it sends one character. Then I trip all the lanes. It makes it much brighter flashes it sends the complete data stream out.